Here we have the product line of Ink Aid Iridescent Precoats. They are all a little bit different, and as you experiment with them, you'll soon find what your favorites are. From right to left, I have blue, pearl, oops, red, pearl, silver, gold, and bronze. And they are in subtle to more noticeable the same kind of an order as far as what I've experimented with. So we're going to look at some of these experiments and I'll talk about what I think about these coatings and what works well with what and go from there. I'm going to talk about the metals first. I find that um, with a pre-coat like the iridescence you're going to see the most I guess what you would say detail essence the the best way it would show up would be on the um, actual metals. This is a piece of that printer's plate that's uh, turquoise. Yeah. So um, the reason I tested on this is that you could see that there is a color underneath so you could see the effect uh, a lot maybe more than you might with a white. But I have a blue, red, and bronze on this. There's a very distinct line between the bronze and the red and a little more subtle line here between the blue and the red. But if you were in person you could see that difference. And those are the kind of things that it's good for you to do so that you can see what the difference is between the pre-coats in the iridescent. Okay, so now here I have silver, let's see, I have silver, gold, and pearl. So here's the pearl. You can definitely see a line here. And then I have silver, I can't remember, and then the gold. The gold it looks really, really nice in this. Couple of my favorites, I really, really like the gold a lot and I use the pearl a lot. But lately I've been looking towards the blue and the red because on the cans and stuff it gives a really kind of nice little shine with just a tinge of the color. So, um, this one you can definitely see that there is a difference between each of the pre-coats. On here what I did was I took the same print and hopefully you'll be able to see it. I don't know what order I have these in. But these prints are all the same and each, each page is a different uh, color. So this one here is the silver and you actually really can see the silver tinge to it. This one here is, what is this? Oh, this is the red. And actually, if you compare these two, the silver to this, you can see your reds come out in this a little bit. Um, I'll compare it to the blue in a second when we find it. Some of these aren't written very clearly, but that would be the way I do these things. Okay, then we have the blue here. So you can see it's a, just a tad bit darker than the red you can see the reds come up a little bit more in the in this one than in this one which would be your difference between the blue because it will get a little bit more of a blue cast then we're taking the um, pearl which I think this first one was a silver if you put it up against the silver it's kind of comparable but in person you can see a little bit more of a pearlescence in it and you can see that over here too it is one of my favorite ones. Of course, now I've said every one is my favorite one. And then you have, this is the gold, which is, I was kind of obvious when I was looking at it because if you look here, you can see that, you can see a definite tinge in between these two right here. And this was the pearl, was it not? Yes. So that's what I'm saying on metals. It's a really good way to test them because you can really see the color come through. Yes, this is on turquoise. It's not quite the same as white. But in this one, you can see the bronze for sure. It's the darkest coating, but you can see in the bottle, it's the darkest coating. So um, a little slightly used here. But anyway, um, that's this on the turquoise metals. Then if you look at it and the cans, and I have to admit that I don't have all my cans because I broke into them and used them for a project between uh, coating them and doing this video, but this actually is gold on the can. And let's see where the gold is. The gold is right here. And you might be able to see the gold tinge. The gold next to the bronze. Is this the bronze? Yeah, it is. 
Um, you can see a little bit, let me get this out of here. You can see it's a little bit darker on this side than this side. And this is the gold and this is the bronze. They both make a really nice cast in the metals. Then we have the blue and we have the red. So if you can kind of try to compare the same colors, you don't see a whole lot of difference in those. You do see it there though. You see the these two colors right here are, are different. But like again in the video, it's probably hard to see. And then this would be your pearl that if you bring it up against your gold, you can definitely see the gold tinge in the same part of the print. This is the Pimatex cotton. These are only little four by six, all the same print again, because if you're gonna test a coating, you wanna do the same print so you can see what's going on. This is the clear mat. And if I put it up against any of these, the iridescence will give you a nice clear print, just like the clear mat will. A little bit different, but that has to be seen in person, I hate to say. This is the blue, this is the red, here's the pearl, then we get to the silver, and the gold, and the bronze. So let's see, can we hold these all up at one time? And see if you can just see the subtle differences, because there are definitely subtle differences. They won't have any kind of shiny properties to them. Well, the, actually I shouldn't say that, because the silver and stuff will, and so will the gold and the bronze will say, stay very iridescent on the fabric. Um, and against a clear mat, you can see they still give really good prints. These are a little lighter, and it's because, obviously, that's how the pre-coat acts on a Pimatex. So I made some little larger pieces so that we could take a look at the different pre-coats on larger pieces. Um, these, I'm going to have to look just to make sure I didn't mess these up. This is a blue and a red right here, and you can see a little teeny bit of what the uh, cotton's like there. So uh, the red is a, is a little bit darker than the blue, had a little bit more vivid print, but you know the colors show up different on here, so it really it's really not about vivid or whatever, it's about what the actual pre-coat you want to use does to a fabric. This is the pearl, I would imagine. Yep. Okay, there's the pearl. So you can see these against each other. In front of me right here, this has a different, a different look than the other two. Okay, here's the silver. Now, if you can see this, there's a thicker piece of silver there. One thing I haven't said is you really have to mix them up carefully and take the stuff from the bottom, and then before I actually use the pre-coat that's been mixed, I just kind of turn it back and forth and back and forth just to make sure all the little particles are mixed in. Here I did this on purpose so you could see if you really make it thick, you have a lot more silver than you do if you just kind of give one coat, and I just brushed extra on there. Then you have the gold which I always think makes a beautiful print on the fabric. And it's like in the tonal qualities of the actual bronze, but the bronze has this little particly iridescent thing you can see all over it that the other coatings don't do. And then once again, if you can see this, here's where it was a little bit thicker and I put some of the thicker stuff on there. So, you know, really it, it takes you testing it and, and seeing what you like about it and seeing what's good for your purposes, but I love using the pre-coats on stuff. This is just something else. I took a piece of Luchador. It's the same print as this, and I coated it with the, um, so you can see the same color, I coated it with the bronze. And I coated the other side again after it was dry, not the front side, the back side. So when I burn this, it has a really neat metallic look. So one of the things you could do with synthetics is use some of the metallics on it and coat them again on the back if you want a very faint print coming through and little pieces of metal showing. You can try that technique. So that's it.